Correct. All right. Um, going to move on to a slightly different subject. Um, as we know, there's lots of people that are sort of like um, star seeds that are here acting as light workers. And I've all I've often wondered. Is everyone a star seed, and is everyone on this mission, or are there only some people that seem to be aware of this and are actively trying to um, support the change? I'm wondering, you know, many people seem to be asleep. Are they destined to be asleep until, say, the good guys have brought about enough change? That's a very good question, and I'll, I'll answer it this way. Um, everyone is a star seed. Um, Everyone is a star seed, uh, okay. and the best way of the sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting noise playing here in the background. Everyone's a star seed, but 10% of our population is an original first Earth species. And at one point in time, Earth had 32 separate Earth species that it spawned as first species, and they spread between the three timelines. And they have been interbreeding with the new people that come here from refugee status. Earth has been in refugee status 12 different times where it's taken people where planets were being destroyed in other war scenarios and welcomed them here so they became an adopted first species. That's how we came to the 2300 soul families. As okay. for starseed, in essence, everyone is a star seed, but some have been here so long that the star seed part of them really doesn't apply because they're so old, have had to go through so many soul contracts, so many wars, so many true loves, so many children that quite literally they're here to experience the event so they can return to their own home planet through a migration pattern and be a star seed on their home planet with a complete layer of all knowledge and wisdom that they've experienced here on Earth. Okay, that actually leads me into another question. How valuable or is it important for us to recognize our starseed origins? Is there functional use at this point in time for us to, to even know about them or to try to find what they are? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of functional use for it. That's one of the reasons the galactic historian identifies species. It's going to be vital in the coming years that people can understand where they came from and there'll be a transition, a, a, a tra transparent history, and knowledge knowledge centers that people can go to to learn about their home worlds and begin to re-experience their 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 through their amnesia that we have. We're a species with amnesia, and when we go mm -hmm. through the remembering process, we'll learn we're going to be star seeds on our home worlds again. We're returning home after millions of years being away. Mm. Well, the and I question I have. I call this the great, the great Migration. There was several dozen migrations here to Earth where trillions of spirits came. And there are trillions of spirits here. There's not just the 7 billion, 300 million here. There's trillions that are locked into this galactic ascension machine. Not to mention the many hundreds of billions of actual physical ETs that are in the solar system right now operating the quarantine system and interacting with different members of their soul family so that people can be awakened in the proper way.